This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Well, you have um, uh, $900 average, I mean, $900 weekly rate for the truck. Uh, and there are some insurances like um, physical damage insurance, which is $150. And uh, occupational insurance. Which Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Benefit Trucking out of Illinois. They also are associated with HMD Trucking as well. I believe Benefit side is like their lease side. And, of course, the HMD side is for company drivers. But here at Benefit Trucking, they is known for a large fleet of modern, comfortable trucks. All of their trucks are the amazing Peterbilt 579 models, and they turn them over every three years years it is governed at 70 miles per hour 12 speed automatic transmission spaces combo sleepers high roof with eight feet of head space so if you're a big man this is the truck for you sleeper units outlets with inverters many many refrigerators removable driver seat and it is an apu to keep you comfortable if you're interested in benefit trucking stay tuned uh, well we have over the road it is the same two weeks base rate will be 60 cents per mile and uh, we run about 2500 miles per week so about 60 cent a mile, 2,500 miles a week. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, this will be W-2, correct? Uh, yes, this is W-2, uh, and we also have 1099 option. So you do have a 1099 option. Okay, so let me ask you this. With the 1099 option, is that a lease to own, lease to rent, or is that just company... 1099 company 1099 but we have an option if you want to lease after 45 days uh so it, can, it it is possible after 45 days with a company 45 days after the after after driving with the company uh does the mileage pay change when you go full lease or no um it it changes, yes. So for company drivers, it's sixty cents per mile. For lease operators, it is paid dollar fifty per mile. Is is how much a mile, ma'am? I'm sorry. Dollar fifty per mile. A dollar fifty per mile. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, last of, fuel surcharge. Okay, so that's a dollar fifty per mile, including fuel surcharge. Let me ask you a question about the fuel. Um, for Let's say if if I don't have a load assigned to me or anything like that, would my fuel car be turned off? Um, no. Uh, now on the lease side, um, you say it's a dollar fifty per mile. Uh, is there is what what would be my expenses for you know what would be my weekly weekly expenses? Uh, at, uh, on my settlement with the truck. Well, you have um, um, nine hundred dollars average. I mean, nine hundred dollars weekly rate for the truck. Uh, and there are some insurances like um, physical damage insurance, which is one hundred and fifty dollars, and uh, occupational insurance, which is forty dollars. Um. Plates and registration, I think sixty dollars. Uh, yeah. Is there escrow uh, for the lease side, and 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 is it for the company side as well, or just for the lease side? If it is. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, is there escrow for both company side escrow. and lease side? 
Uh, if you're a 1099, yes, there is escrow $2,500 deducted at $100 per paycheck. If you're a W-2 company driver, no lease, that means there, there is no escrow pay. I only got a few more questions, and these is like basic questions. So how much experience are you guys looking for altogether? Uh, at least six months of recent verifiable experience over the road. All right. Uh, do you guys accept SAP drivers? We need at least three years from when that happened, the positive for the refusal, and SAP program completed with all of the uh, steps, all of the follow-up tests. So, in other words, no, because you you saying after three years, right? Pretty much. Yes, yeah, correct. So after three years. Yeah, it's pretty much a no. Um, speaking of uh, drug tests, uh, what what do you guys do? Uh, urine or hair follicle or both? A urine drug test. Uh, would I be able to do the Would I be able to do the drug tests before I come to orientation or during orientation? Mm, drug tests need to be done before the actual orientation. Um, where are you guys located, and where would the orientation be, and how would you get me up there? We are located in Chicago, Illinois, and the orientation takes place in Chicago Reach. Uh, we usually fly you out, or um, I mean, we we have we book a flight ticket or a bus ticket, whatever it works best for you. And also, it is paid orientation on of one hundred and fifty dollars. Sounds sound good so far. Okay. Um, do you guys run Canada? No, we do not go there. Up to the we run up to the state of New York. Like we do not enter New York City, but we do run New York State, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, all of that. Oh man, you can have all of that. That's oh, that's the Northeast. I can't mess with that now. Nah. Well, let me ask you this: Is it forced dispatch up there? It is. Yes. Oh. It is. And we need you to be flexible and run the Northeast when needed. Do we get Do we get paid extra for going up there? Unfortunately, no. It's the same. Like pay the, pay is the same. Uh, like uh, it is sixty cents. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about my home time? Uh, would I be able to? Uh, do like regional and get home every you know get home every week or how 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 how's your home time uh two nights at home after you being on the road for two weeks okay okay two weeks okay okay that's that's not a problem of course i would get um i would get my settlements every week right yes very good, ma'am. Very good. Uh, what kind of equipment that I will be driving and what are they governed at? Uh, we have p tables 579, trucks are governed at 70 miles per hour and equipped with a power inverter, like diesel, APU, mini fridge, and double bunk, bunk uh, bed. Okay. What about a camera? You guys got cameras in there? Yes, it, there is inwards facing camera. But that one is optional. So if you do not want to have it, you can cover it. And there are those on the outside of the truck which are recording the road, and those ones are mandatory. If we request that we don't want the cameras, but of course if we become a a safety liability, then they will be put right back in the vehicle, right? Uh, there is a different system that shows us that. I think Natradina four-way four camera system. You can only cover the, that part that is recording, like your, I mean, your face and your body. But there are sensors that are uh, signalizing when you're entering into violation. Benefits for W two drivers, because I know 1099, we got to find our own. Uh, when, when, what benefits do you have, and when do they start? We uh, the benefits start after. Um, 30 days with a company. There is uh, the the provide. There is health dental vision insurance. Like uh, the provider is Blue Cross Blue Shield, and as I said, um, it starts after 30 days with a company, and also 401k with 5% matching funds after 90 days with a company. Sounds good. What about pet and rider policy, though? 
Um, pet and variety of policy, yes. Pets are allowed with $500 non-refundable deposit, and riders are allowed also from day one. What's the youngest I can bring my rider? Uh, a rider need to be at least 10 years of age. All right, I can bring my grandkid. Okay. Uh, is there any sign-on bonus with you guys? Yeah, I'm sorry. We do not have sign-on bonus. We only have referral bonus. That's if you refer another driver to our company, you get paid for that, like $2,000. Very good, ma'am. All right. <clears throat> Now, this same information that, that me and you just went over, this for both companies, right? Benefit Trucking and HMD? Yes, for both companies, for over-the-road positions. For over-the-road positions. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yes. All right. Well, uh, finally, we, we, we got it in. Thank you. Who's next?